Hey guys, Jeff here from TheRealDealTech.com bringing you a quick overview of the new MacBook 2015 running Photoshop. That's right, I actually have it running Photoshop with a couple other applications in the background. And the reason why I chose to do a video on this is because a lot of people are searching for it and I was one of those people that was actually searching for a video on the new MacBook running Photoshop and how well it works with Photoshop. You know, you have a lot of designers and developers that are going back and forth from the office, you know, from their home office, back to the office and back and forth and you know, that can get to be a pain. Um, and I figured showing a video demonstrating how this device actually works with Photoshop would be best. The device you'll see in front of you though is a 512 gigabyte version and it is running the 1.2 gigahertz processor that is a Core M processor which a lot of people are bashing but you have to give it a chance. What I went ahead and did is install the latest version of Photoshop that is the uh, Creative Cloud version. I also wanted, went ahead and opened the activity monitor so you can see what's going on with the actual MacBook while I'm pushing it to the limit and actually you know, taking it through opening a project, starting a project. I also went ahead and opened a code editor in the background and I connected to an actual live server. So that's all running in the background. Just so you can see that you don't have to just open Photoshop to make sure that it runs like butter. And by butter I mean it's running smooth, it's running nicely. So you'll see me open a pretty good size file here. I'm starting a new project. I turn up the PPI there. Um, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it for a web image. So we'll go ahead and start that. You know, I add a shape in there. And you'll see me go through actually adding different shapes. You'll see me actually changing the color and just, you know, taking you through some of the basic functionality. But the important thing to remember here is I have a bunch of stuff open in the background. And that tends to happen when you're working with a MacBook Pro. You get used to being able to work at you know, such a high speed. You stay consistent with your work. You don't have to worry about multitasking because the MacBook Pro can handle it. Now, a lot of people are, feel that this device is simply for a blog post or simply for somebody that's you know, opening a spreadsheet, closing a spreadsheet, simple stuff like that. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. I was able to actually open two projects and you know I didn't push it past that just because I didn't feel I needed to to prove a point you can see here I'm opening up another big project and this would be specifically for print so I'm definitely changing it up um, taking you through that and, and the nice part about it is this device works good I mean it's working nicely I'm not just telling you about it I'm, I'm also showing you in front of your face right now that you can see that this is a new MacBook this is the latest version this is the 1.2 gigahertz processor running on this machine and you can actually push this and get a 1.3 version I believe is the the maximum output you can check apple.com you know for all those specifications but you'll see me bring in a high resolution image here or a bigger image and kind of show you what it's like to work with it's not slowing down it's not bogging down it's working nicely you know, I haven't sped up this video. I'm working with the image, the, the project files, just like I would with anything else. And, you know, I don't have to basically change up my workflow to accommodate the specs on this computer. You know, so a lot of people are judging this machine purely on the specs that they read online, purely on the specs on a video, and they're not actually using it. They're not testing it in front of you, and that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm showing you that you can do more with it. You know, there's a lot of people bashing it saying that, you know, it's it's a piece of junk, it's an iPad with a keyboard. I mean, I've heard stuff like, you know, it's way overpriced for the specs, you have to be a moron to buy it, stuff like that. I mean, those are purely coming from people that aren't actually testing it out. And that was the main purpose of me making this video is to actually show you it is capable. Um, a lot of people are downgrading, a lot of people are putting it down, but you'll see here I'm running multiple applications. I still have a code editor open in the background. I have it connected to a live server. I still have two projects open right now in Photoshop, and you see that it didn't give me any issues. I even had iMessage open with people messaging me. Yeah, one message. <laughs> but anyways, long story short, as you can see that this device definitely can get the work done. And the last thing I want to leave you with is the initial boot time. You know, I, I went through the actual application, showed you Photoshop, showed you how well the machine works. I shut it down. Now I'm going to start it back up one more time so you can see how fast it does start up. It's, and it's right up there with your MacBook Air. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate your time. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share.